Welcome to Military Upgrade. The high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle is a family of light, four-wheel drive, military trucks and utility vehicles produced by AM General. It has largely supplanted the roles previously performed by the original Jeep, and others such as the Vietnam War-era M151 Jeep, their M718A1 and M792 ambulance versions, the commercial utility cargo vehicle, and other light trucks. Primarily used by the United States military, it is also used by numerous other countries and organizations and even in civilian adaptations. The Humvee saw widespread use in the Gulf War of 1991, where it navigated the treacherous desert terrain. This usage helped to inspire civilian Hummer versions. After going through a replacement process, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle JLTV, was selected to its successor in frontline service. The Folder Advanced Light Strike Vehicle Platform was developed by General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems GDOTS, in partnership with Flyer Defense LLC, for the U.S. Special Operations Command SOCOM, Ground Mobility Vehicle Program. The Flyer Advanced Light Strike Vehicle Platform configurations are the Kite 72 and the narrower Flyer 60 Encyclopedia. He vehicle can operate at high speeds at great distances, off-road and in various weather conditions. It can be configured for many features including light attack, rescue and personnel recovery, reconnaissance and communication. The Flyer has a fuel consumption of 24 mpg at 40 mph. Weapons can be mounted on a 360-degree ring or five patient nests can be worn. It also has an armored variant, with the four-door cab, rear cargo space and roofline armored up to ballistic level. The Cougar is a mine-resistant ambush-protected and infantry mobility vehicle structured to be resistant to landmines and improvised munitions. It is a family of armored vehicles produced by Force Protection Inc., which manufactures ballistic and mine-protected vehicles. The vehicles are integrated by Spartan Motors. These vehicles are protected against small arms, landmines and improvised explosive devices IEDs, using a combination of design features and materials to protect both the crew and engine compartment against a wide range of attacks. A monocoque type, V-shaped hull extends to the engine bay and serves to direct the blast away from under the vehicle. The dual air conditioners help keep heavily dressed troops from overheating in temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius, in Iraq. The RG-33 is a mine-resistant light-armored vehicle initially designed by Bay Systems, formerly Land Systems OMC, a South African subsidiary of Bay Systems. Bay Systems in the U.S. extensively modified it with additional protection, new powertrain and suspension systems. It was built in a number of locations including York, Pennsylvania. It was one of several vehicles being fielded by the U.S. Armed Forces in Iraq under the MRAP program. It is based on the RG-31, which itself is based on the Mamba APC, although it is roughly twice the weight of RG-31. There are two variants, the standard RG-33 has four wheels and weighs 22 tons while the extended RG-33L variant has six wheels, can carry twice as many people in the back, and weighs 26 to 37 tons depending on the version. The Oshkosh LATV, Light Combat Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle, is a light utility, combat multi-role vehicle that won the U.S. military's Army-led Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, program. In the very early stages of the program it was suggested that JLTV would replace the AM General High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle HMMWV, on a one-for-one -one basis. It is now suggested that the JLTV will part replace the HMMWV, not replacing it on a like-for-like -like basis Oshkosh's LATV will deliver a level of protection similar to that of current, but far heavier and less maneuverable, mine-resistant ambush protected MRAP class designs, these having far more protection from blast than up-armored M1114 HMMWVs. On the 25th of August 2015, the LATV was selected as the winner of the JLTV program. The first JLTV delivery order was placed in March 2016 with the U.S. Army ordering 657 trucks. Overall JLTV requirements are 9,091 vehicles for the Marine Corps with all to be delivered in FY 2022, and 49,099 for the Army entering service in late 2019 with deliveries occurring through 2040. 
The Air Force and Navy will also receive small quantities of JLTV, and all totals are subject to change. The Army received its first seven JLTVs for test at the end of September 2016, Colonel Shane Fulmer, JLTV project manager stated at an ASA 2016 media briefing.